This program is dedicated to the brave men and women of the United States Armed Forces, past, present, and future. I'm Keith Warren. I'm a hunter. <laughs> Talk about dumping him on his butt. A fisherman. Wow! Shark fishing with a topwater. A conservationist. Don't be bashful. Come on out. A family man. Woo, baby. And I'm proud to be a deer farmer. I'm taking a road trip. And we're going behind the scenes of today's most innovative deer farmers and wildlife management operations in North America. This is Deer and Wildlife Stories. All right, so what pin is this one? This is one of our yearling pins. Now this is the same pin that Express was in last year, right? That's right, he's in here again this year. And there he is right there. Good gosh almighty. Russell, what, he's four now? Yes, sir. Wow. How wide is he, you think? You know, we, we're thinking he's gonna be around 30 inches again. This will be his, uh, his third year, you know, to be 30 inches. Folks, so, what you're looking at, in my opinion, is the next famous deer in the deer industry, he's already famous. We're at High Roller Whitetails today, just outside of Center, Texas. And uh, Russell, right here, he runs the operation down here in Texas for High Roller, and uh, that deer right there, Express, we're gonna really feature him hard on today's show because he's a game changer. Anybody in the deer business has heard of, well, a deer named Maxbow, okay? Maxbow was a very famous deer that was a game changer. He put people in business, basically, in the deer farming business because he was huge and he threw big offspring. Maxbow lived to be a long time. The deal is express. A lot of times people don't know that a deer is gonna be a great deer until he gets older because they don't breed him young, That's right? right? That's right, that's you right. Know, James is pretty smart about what he breeds with and we, we bred him at two, so we've got his first crop of offspring on the ground now. And okay. they're, they're unbelievable. But the, the reason why you bred him at two is because James James knows genetics. He, right. he he understands it, and James Butler's who I'm talking about. James winds up, he handles all the deer sales outside of Texas for High Roller, and he handles all the marketing for High Roller, and he handles all the semen sales. So James Butler, you'll hear his name and on today's show. But as far as Express goes, breeding him at two years old, he was already exceptional. And we got video, we were out here and we got video when he was two, and, and he was he was exceptional. But the cool thing that we're gonna show you on today's show is that Express throws the genetics, the exceptional genetics Express throws them. You know, I've been traveling all over the country this year shooting deer and wildlife stories. And I'm telling you, Express is talked about in every single farm I go to. And we've seen some of the Express yearlings on the ground and they are phenomenal. And we got video of uh, an Express yearling up in Ohio. And he's probably, well, he is the prettiest yearling I've ever seen. And I think he's the biggest yearling I've ever seen. And that's just proof what this deer right here throws. But uh, the cool thing about it is that deer right there, I think in our deer industry, Express is gonna be the next Max Bell. I think so too. He's got it all. I mean, look at that. And the best thing about it, not just the antlers, I mean, the, he's got the blood. I mean, the blood. Now y'all DNA pedigree everything, don't you? Absolutely, every single deer on the farm. So how many deer do y'all have here total? We've got about 800 right now. Okay, so with Express, we wound up, we videotaped him at two, and then we came back and videotaped him at three. And the cool thing about it is they had so much confidence in that deer right there that when we were back here and videotaping him at three, they decided to uh, collect semen off of him. And so we wound up, we were fortunate enough to videotape the entire process from putting a dart in him and taking him down to collecting the semen and got a pretty good collection, didn't you? Yes, sir, we did. We and, did. and the deal about it is, it's semen, they do sell semen. It is very limited, and uh, well, you can contact uh, James Butler to see what the semen runs, but the guys are building their program off that deer right there, and we're gonna show you guys all over the country. They're building their program off Express. Yes, sir. Well, that's absolutely incredible. I can't wait to see some other deer, but he is a beast, and the deal, he is consistently putting it out. I mean, look, he, he doesn't go backwards from one year to another. No, sir, he does not. My goodness. The whole thing about the deer industry, too, is predictability. When you wind up your breeding deer and you're lining your deer up, it's predictability. And the predictability comes from being able to read pedigrees and understand genetically what these deer are throwing. And James Butler is an ace when it comes to that. He understands how to line them up and, and express, as well as a bunch of other big deer out here, 
or a result of that. Y'all have got some great semen that you can help establish somebody's program, get them off on the right track. But the, the cool deal is if, if somebody comes out to East Texas and does not visit High Roller White Tails, you're making a, a serious mistake. If, if you want to build your program, I mean, if you want to have pasture deer, I'd say, well, you need to come out here because the pasture deer that they sell, the deer that they don't even use for breeding, are bigger than most of the deer that people do use for breeding across the country. We'll show them later on too, but this amazing express is just, he just keeps getting better and better. He does, yes sir. If you like the way our show looks on your television set, you're gonna absolutely love it when you see it in full HD online. And you can watch it on my website 24 seven free of charge at keithwarren.net. Take a look and you'll see what I'm talking about. That deer right there was High Roller when he was seven years old. High Roller's dead now, but at seven years old, he scored 418 inches, and at the time, that was the biggest deer on earth. Now, back then, High Roller was considered, and he's still considered to be a great deer, but what separates the deer from years ago to the deer today, what makes the deer today great is their consistency. Their consistency as far as producing great big offspring. What I mean by that is High Roller would produce, say, 10 fawns, and one of them would blow up and be a giant. And back then that was good, but that's not good enough in today's market. In 2012, we've got to have deer that, that really perform, that are game changers. Back in the day, High Roller was a game changer. Today, game changers like Express. And I want you to take a look at Express. He's two years old. This is his rack right here at two. This is his rack at three. And you may wonder, well, well how in the world do they do it? It's, predictability and performance and consistency. It's through stacking genetics. And I'm gonna let James Butler tell you how they stack genetics to get them to perform like this. What we try to do is we try to stack as many proven females into a pedigree as we possibly can to just increase our consistency and our predictability. We breed the most proven bucks to the best proven does and see what happens. We stack as many proven pedigrees as we possibly can the real popular high profile deer are easy to keep up with in our mind, but the ones that we can't remember, we keep all of our data and our information in a GMS software program that keeps up with all our deer data and all of our ranching information. It makes our life a whole lot easier. At a click of a button, we can tell how many offsprings we've got out of a female, what each one, we keep a picture of each buck that that doe has so that we can go, always go back in three or four years, we can go back and look at all of our data when we're deciding which does to keep, which does to market. Oftentimes we're asked, how do we value our females? And the bottom line, it comes down to performance and predictability. In a nutshell, it's pedigree. We collect semen every fall and I handle all the semen sales all over the country. And if you need to improve any genetics or we can help you in any way, just give me a call. I'm not really good to, as far as judging score anymore. I've, I've been kind of ruined after coming out here, but yes, I want you to tell me, at two years old, what did Express score? He was 302 at two, over 30 inches wide. And he had the frame, he had he had everything going on. Like I said, he had, he had the pedigree too. Yes, sir. Okay, at three years old, when he was knocked down last year and the semen collected, what did he score? He was 327, and again, over 30 inches wide. Inside. Holy smokes. Okay, and this year, do you, you take any guess? He's well over 300 and, you know, over 30 inches again. Yeah, I mean, he, he's, uh, he's, yeah. I think he's bigger than ever. I mean, I think he, I think this is going to be his best year. I tend to agree. So, you know, three years in a row, over 300 inches. Just to give you an idea of how consistently High Roller Whitetails produces big deer. Um, just a little bit ago, driving up, we got a call from John Viesca. John is a leading breeder here in the state of Texas. He has Derby Sand Ranch down in South Texas, and he has got some really big deer. John said that in his opinion, High Roller Whitetails has the best one-year-old, three-year-old, four-year-old, and five-year-old in the country, in his opinion. And I can't argue with him. I mean, I'm looking here. I'm, I'm, the only question is, I wonder who has the best two-year-old. Well, he's probably thinking he does. Yeah, he probably does. <laughs> Knowing John, that I bet That's you, right. I bet you're right. But I'm just telling you, for a deer farmer to compliment another deer farmer, a competitor, that he's got the best one, three, four, and five year old. It's a heck of a compliment. <laughs> it's a pretty good compliment. That's pretty good. That Express is just a phenomenal deer now. It's time for viewer feedback. 
brought to you by winadeerfarm.com, presented by High Roller Whitetails. Dear Keith, I'm a city girl that really enjoys watching you on TV. I love the way deer help bring people together and also the way deer have a calming effect on people. I never thought I'd want to become a deer farmer, but someday I plan on it. What's the one piece of advice you'd give a new deer farmer? Thanks for the great shows, Natalie Short. Natalie, the one piece of advice that I would give a would-be deer farmer or an existing deer farmer is that I would focus on quality rather than quantity. And what I mean by that is that the expenditure that you have on deer, be it feed, water, land, whatever your expenditure is, it costs the same amount of money to take care of a poor quality animal or as it does a good quality animal. So I think quality over quantity all the time. So if you're gonna get in the business, start out by buying good genetics and you'll be way ahead of the game. Deer and Wildlife Stories is brought to you in part by Deer Guardian Misting Systems, DNA Solutions and the North American Deer Registry, Four Canyons Ranch, Hoff Power Polaris, the Hunter Heritage Foundation, and Record Rack Deer Feeds. Now most of the deer, the high roller whitetails, are down in Texas, but they do have deer up north. That's right. And one of the offspring from one of the does up north is named Sudden Express. Sudden Express is express semen, the express that you've seen here on the show, inside one of the northern deer that y'all have. When Sudden Express was grown his first wreck, there's two guys that couldn't stand it and had to become partners in the deal. John Viesca, we just mentioned him a little bit ago, and also Billy Sage. And they just had to have it. And uh, I'm wondering, I mean, I know it costs a lot of money. How much money do they pay? That's, that's classified. That's Come classified. on, really? It was a substantial amount, say that. I'll guarantee it was a substantial that's amount. Right. We were up at Billy Sage's and he's looking at it and I'm thinking, I'm asking, where are the armed guards? I mean, the deer yeah. is absolutely phenomenal. But don't think that Sudden Express is just the only offspring out of Express that's done real well either, huh? No, sir, there's new ones popping up I and mean, we're getting pictures and I mean, it's unbelievable what he's doing. You know, on his first crop of yearlings. Well, and, it, it, and the deal is, Express is a relatively young deer. He is. I mean, most most of these deer that start throwing throwing these big babies, they're seven or eight, nine years old by the time that happens. And okay. so that's the reason why I'm saying that deer right there, Express is so special because he's done it at such an early age. In his first crop. As far as semen goes, how are y'all doing as far as sales go? I mean, do you have any available? We do, yes, sir. We limit it every year, and we set an amount of what we're going to sell. And you know, after that, we cut it off until until the next breeding season. I think that's really smart because what'll happen a lot of times with some of these guys, they will wind up, they will uh, flood the market with with semen, and uh, and what happens is that the value. I mean, it's just yes, supply and demand. If you want special deer, then they need to be special deer, and if everybody's got one, they're not special. And so, but what we've got here, we've got a deer express that the semen is limited, but the deer, the offspring that he's throwing are exceptional. That's just an incredible deer right there. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away. I can't wait to come back and see him again next year because I guarantee you that right there, what we're looking at is a game changer. Okay, I talked to you earlier about Jesse James. I want to go look Let's go at Jesse James. All right. All right, so there's no doubt in my mind that's Jesse James right there, isn't it? That's him. And he's three years old now. Yes, sir. Uh, Jesse James was sired by Max Bow, and he's incredible. So and now so you're going to find out, I guess next year at this time, what Jesse James is going to be throwing. Yes, sir. OK, so it's just a matter of stacking genetics. That's it. And waiting. And waiting. I mean, that's the one deal about the deer business. I mean, you got to be patient. Now, that deer right there, he's not done, is he? Oh, no, sir. He's got a, he's got a good bit of growing left today. Yeah. And here we are, third week of August, and that deer's still getting it on. So uh, it's just incredible. Now, let me ask you this. Out of all these deer, these great big deer I'm looking at, how many of them are, are the result of AI? Well, you know, 85, 90% for sure. That's big, folks. That's really, really big. 85, 90%. That's huge. The, the way you can change your herd through artificial insemination is absolutely incredible. You know, Jesse James is so big that he kind of overshadows all these other guys in the pen with him. And I, I can tell these are all yearlings, but there's some big yearlings in there when you start looking at them. Tell me about that one. Oh, that's Tebow right there. He uh, He's a shadow son out of a gladiator on uh, Express's mother's womb sister. 
So, <laughs> that may sound confusing to you, but let me tell you something. Anybody in the deer business knows that that right there is a home run. That is a home run. Who's that other one in here? That's Triple Crown. He uh, He's actually had a yardstick on Gladiator, on Dream Buck, on Tex Roller Sister. Gosh. So, but you look at Jesse James in here. Why do you have him in here? I know why. I'm telling everybody why you we, got a mature buck in here with the young guys. We've always done that. We always let our you know our older breeder bucks grow out with. You know we put buck fawns in there with them. That way they're the you know they're the dominant buck and you know there's no establishing a pecking order. They're the dominant buck of the pen and they seem to do really well that way. The only deal is when you do that, I mean, he's so big that he overshadows. Like the other guys, and all of a sudden you look, Tebow's like, holy smokes, who is that? Yeah, you just, because your eyes, you just instantly gravitated to Jesse James. You don't see the other big ones that are in the pen, but that is pretty awesome right there. Yes, sir. It'll be interesting to see what Jesse James throws. We'll be back here in a year, and we'll be looking at that. Now, if I was a betting man, I'm not a betting man, but if I was a betting man, I'd bet you that he's going to be an A player and throwing good, too. I'll take that bet. <laughs> he can't help it. Well, we're going to show you the pasture deer in a little bit, but uh, don't think for one minute that pasture deer aren't big deer, good deer. Because last year when I was here, your pasture deer are better than my trophy deer are getting better every year. So <laughs> yeah, they like are. This year. All right, well, let's go look at them. All right. Deer and Wildlife Stories is brought to you in part by winadeerfarm.com, presented by High Roller Whitetails. Game Management Software, the North American Deer Farmers Association, New Dart, Shock Effect Probiotics, and Keith Warren's Texas Hidden Springs Ranch, the best value for Texas trophy deer hunting. I want to tell you, if you're interested in deer farming, if you'd like to be a deer farmer, we're giving away a deer farm. All you need to do is log on to winadeerfarm.com. It's a sweepstakes, no purchase necessary. Go on there and register, and somebody, we're going to set them up being a deer farmer. I look at Express and I, I call him a million dollar buck, okay, and, and in reality, I think he's going to be worth more than that. He's going to produce more than that. It's like a, as a businessman, you think, okay, you're going to buy a piece of equipment or a piece of inventory that, that is going to create more income for you. And that's exactly what happens with these top end deer. But a lot of times these top end deer can be worth so much money that somebody really, they want to find a partnership. They want to form that, right? That's right. And that's what y'all did with Kid Rock, right? Yes, sir. We're in partnership with uh, Cross King and Whitetails and Divine Genetics on Kid Rock. Instead of Kid Rock being here now, he's over at Cross Canyons, but y'all are still partners on the deer. Now, Kid Rock, I I'm going to tell y'all something. He was the biggest yearling ever. I mean, in Texas. As far as we know, yes, sir. I mean, he, he was absolutely giant. And at three years old, what's he look like? This year, I mean, he's got a shot of being the biggest deer ever in Texas. Really? He's an absolute giant. Absolute giant. Okay, now, if somebody wants to buy semen out of that deer, they contact James? Yes, sir. Okay, so anywhere in the country, uh, people can contact James. Again, James handles the semen sales all over in the northern deer sales for High Roller, but it's, uh, it's pretty incredible when you look at the production that comes out of this place. The, the, the You gotta come out here to see it for yourself. Now, do y'all have farm tours if somebody calls oh, absolutely. up? Absolutely. Absolutely, yes sir. We oh. welcome them anytime. We're here, there's somebody here seven days a week. Okay, you got a really good website. Give them a website address. It's uh, www.highrollerwhitetails.com. We try to select what we think are the very most marketable deer for us to breed here, but we wind up with a lot of bucks that go to for pasture deer, for other ranches, into other breeding programs, stuff that we sell. And it's exciting every year to see what they produce as well. All right, you may wonder where do deer go that are not used for breeding purposes here at High Roller. Russell, why don't you tell them? Well, you can only breed so many deer. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just, just, it's just a numbers thing. Um, all these deer in this pen are, are breeder quality. They're all, you know, as fine a pedigree deer as you can ask for. But, you know, like we said, you just, you can't breed them all. So uh, these deer go out. Uh, we sell them to ranches, uh, other breeders, just basically to improve their uh, their genetic structure. I mean, they, uh, again, they're, they're bred as good as good as anything we breed with, and we would too, but... You know, we select just a just a few that we're going to breed with, and, and these go to help other folks. And, and these are all three-year-old bucks. I mean, yes, they're, they're they're three-year-old bucks. I'm I'm looking at them. That one's a big one. That one's a big one. That one's that they're 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 big deer, and these are pasture deer. They're going to go and help somebody's genetics on their place, and I think that's what's cool. A lot of times, these ranches in Texas have had. Uh, their ranch is under high fence for a long time and they may have topped out, may, may be saying they can only grow 160 inch deer, 170 inch deer. What you're looking at here, 
there's some deer in here that are what they're way over 200 like oh, easy. way over 200 you talk about you pick up some of these from high roller you get them brought down to your place and you don't deliver deer right absolutely That's okay right. And, and and instantly boom as, after the first breeding season you've got an infusion of quality genetics in there and so you stop that stagnation where you may be topped out at 160 170 like i said and all of a sudden look what you just did look what you put in I mean, they're all beautiful deer you got some of them with drops some of them with flyers they're beautiful all right if somebody wants more information on on purchasing pasture deer uh, or purchasing semen of course james will handle that yes, or or i mean anything to do with high roller they need to get a hold of you give them your telephone number 936-598-9600 or log on our website www.highrollerwhitetails.com i'm telling you someday when i grow up i hope to have deer like y'all i hope to have deer like your pasture deer <laughs> these guys They're are nice, pretty awesome they? yeah before you make your next Polaris purchase, you owe it to yourself to check out the number one Polaris dealer in the country, Hoff Power Polaris. If you'd like to watch full episodes of our programs 24 seven online in full HD, log on to my website at keithwarren.net. There you'll find the shows, but you'll also find a lot of outtakes and behind the scenes videos as well. That's keithwarren.net. Reproductive services for deer and wildlife stories are provided by Whitetail Genetics.